Hello, everyone. I do. I normally have an opening. Yeah. Uh, oh right, right. Atrum and John here. Got it. Got it. Okay. And, and welcome Moto stuff. <laughs> right. Welcome back to another Legacy Cube. Actually, we haven't done a Legacy Cube in a long time. I think. Right. So I had played some vintage cube but i kind of never recorded it because i'm lazy um i'm (laughs) I'm just gonna be straightforward and honest with that one (laughs) and john's been busy with his new job and everything so congrats on your new job john oh thanks um and then my new job's been just going crazy lately so you know busy 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 um Are, are planeswalkers still good i imagine so and thus, I think Soren's probably a solid pick. I mean, yeah. Garrick's big. I don't mind Garrick either, but Soren's cheaper. Plays more and to better. a tempo game, which I know tempo was better in the Vintage Cube. I don't know if it's better in the Legacy Cube, but... Meh. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Meh. Eh. <laughs> Who knows? Oh. Well, we have two of the like better blue spells in existence. Yeah, I mean, Treachery is OP, usually. Treachery is usually very OP. Cryptic Command's also pretty OP. Uh, I did, they added this, huh? Pan Harmonic. Sure. Hmm. Interesting. Double Treachery? Uh, Creature Artifact. Oh, well, that card's terrible, then. <laughs> <laughs> so, Treachery better than a Johnny? I guess. Yeah. Treachery's absurd. Treachery's absurd. All right. Treachery's absurd. That card almost always just wins a game on the spot. Karn. Karn's absurd. Yeah, Karn. <laughs> <laughs> just play crazy shit time walk. Uh, well, we just passed the time walk, but meh. That's fine. It's not even real time walk. No, that was real. Or, right. That was... Uh, time warp. Time warp. Yeah. You know, the expensive time walk. Yeah, the fake one. Fake time walk. Pfft. Come on now. So if you haven't been playing Magic, what have you been doing? Just nothing? Uh, stuff? <laughs> this card could actually be insane. Uh, eh. <laughs> I had to read it. Yeah, so basically it's, you look at the top four cards of your opponent's library, you get one for free, and you get to play it even if he dies. Yeah, but it's not lands, right? It is is lands. It's any card. It will always hit something. But isn't Gideon just better? Probably. If he's on the wheel, we might pick him up. Okay. But I think Gideon's just better. Also goes well with Soren. These two are best bros. Yeah. I used to play them in a deck together. It was awesome. And you probably lost a lot with that deck. No, I actually did pretty good. Uh, you, yeah. you don't remember that deck? That was the deck where I was just always like, Gideon Emblem. I don't even care about Gideon being a Gideon. It's just Gideon <laughs> Emblem. Yes, I remember now. And I actually did better than everyone else who was playing in that tournament, and I got cheated out of a game. Uh, but that was not neither here nor there. Congratulations. Well, you remember it. It was the opaque sleeves issue. Oh, yeah. I had freaking matted dragon shields. Those are opaque. <laughs> yeah, well, the judge did not agree. One judge did, one judge didn't. Wasn't it two judges? Two judges came over and looked at it. One was yeah. like, no, I don't see anything. The next one was like, well, maybe if you hold it under direct light. Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember now. <laughs> Yeah, maybe if you hold it at a specific angle, under a specific light, in a specific seat, you might be able to see something. And so I got a game loss. And it was just like, really? <laughs> really? And of course it was the game I was winning because my opponent was just being a cheaty face at that point. So Yeah. And then, of course, he then he failed to win a single extra match after that, and I almost made top eight. Classic by tiebreaker. Missing by one. Oh. <laughs> Well, that guy is uh, on the all-time jerk list, I guess. Yeah. Uh, land help fix or a cloud yeah. ranger. Or wasteland, I think, and... even. Nah. 
Yeah, probably not Wasteland. Fixing's good. Fixing's good. Fates Fetters is good. Mm -hmm. So is Duress. Duress could be quite good, too. Duress could be quite good. Which <clears throat> is better? Probably Duress, well, because we already have four drops. Yeah, my personal preference is always discard, because discard's absurd. Or we could take a board wipe. Far away is not bad either. Far away is not bad either. We just kind of casually moved into Esper without talking about it. Totally, totally <laughs> just realized we're not doing a good job of explaining our picks, are we? We're just, well, we're just kind of rambling about <laughs> random shit and kind of <laughs> just picking. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what we always do? I think it is. I mean, we just kind of pick up shit and we just kind of go, whatever. Fuck it. it. It works. Get in the deck. Uh, so I took... In explanation mode, I took Godless Shrine because it allows us to play turn one duress and still have turn two double white if we need it. So, yeah. over far away, even though far away is a really good removal spell. Hmm. Or we could take this. Why? Because it's big and planeswalkery. I don't even like that card. I actually don't mind it. Probably just better to pick up Council's Judgment, though. Yeah, that does the same thing. Except it and doesn't straight win free. games. Now, I could pick the Ajani, though, if our fixing turns out right. It probably is a pick. We'll put it over there because we don't know if our fixing's going to end up good enough for it yet. Yeah, it's pretty late. Hmm. Well. Guess this Soren Markov? He's a little heavy on the black for me right now. but Old Man is not... Old Man's old not man bad, but double blue this early, I'm not certain if it'll work in our deck. Yeah. So I'm going to put... Purple black, though. Right. Well, I think either card was going to end up in our sideboard, and I'd just rather have more Planeswalkers than not enough Planeswalkers? Question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. I mean, if we do end up somehow getting... Because you never know, we could get completely cut off on the blue, so... Yeah. I'm keeping my options open. We could end up Mardu instead of Esper. Uh... Random garbage? This random... Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I took it only because of the garbage. That's the garbage that technically helps fix into other garbage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, these are all cards. So this is okay. insane. This is very good. This would work towards this. Path to Exile is fine. Um. Okay, can you hear that binging noise from my freaking... There, let me close that. I can't hear it, but whatever it is, you should close it. Yeah, I just closed it because I think someone was, I was getting messages on Facebook. Um. Which one of these five? I think this is over this. This fetches, yeah. which is nice. And this is also very good, too. So, what's your? My pick is one of these four cards. What's your? What's your next cut out of those? Twenty seconds. Um, I'd say my vote is Grave Titan because that card's dumb. Okay, vote for Grave Titan, not voting to cut Grave Titan from the options. Yeah, I would vote for Grave right. Titan. I will accept that vote. Oh, the card that most recently got banned in standard. Hooray! I wonder if it's playable in this. Probably. But maybe I don't not know. in our deck? Our deck does not seem... Yeah, we've got two guys right now. Probably just take like Journey to Nowhere, or maybe this. If we want to splash the red. the red. Do? What? The red doesn't do much. It gets a Johnny or a Dreadbore. Eh. Which we're still not certain if we're in blue. So. But we are in white. We are definitely Journey's in white. I think Journey's fine. Yeah, it's a sub pick. Okay, maybe we are in blue. Yeah, Jace, by the way, Jace is now, again, like $50, which doesn't make any sense. Sweet, I still have a place there, including a foil one. <laughs> yeah, it was down to like 25 and now someone's playing it again? I don't know where. Modern, probably, but... Okay. What is up with that entreat? Uh... It is Moto. the... The angels are bloodthirsty, apparently. <laughs> This is like, oh, no. th this is in Crete in post, uh, or in current in Estrad. Yeah. 
It looks sweet, but what the heck? I'd pick it just because it looks sweet, but I think Spellqueller is the pick. Yeah. You know what? I think maybe there's a glitch because our first pick was uh, Bonfire, which is red. But it was over here, I thought. Yeah, but it was the only other miracle we've seen. So maybe since that... Maybe it just ported over the color typing? Yeah, somehow. I, I, I almost have to take a picture of this. Sorry, pretty people. Sp- I'm going to be taking a picture of this. Quick! Seven seconds! Oh, I already clicked on this. Oh, okay. Don't worry, we're getting that. But I have to take a picture of this uh, entreat to have up. Because that looks awesome. Value. Um... Geist to Saint Draft? Maybe? Doomblade hmm. is an option. If you just want to kill Doom everything. Blade's, Doom Blade's pretty good. Looter's pretty good, too. Looter's pretty good, too. Um, I kind of like Doomblade. Yeah. We don't like Bob. Bob flipping over Grave Titans. Not very good. Hollowed Fountain's really nice for us. Yeah, I'll take that. Snap pick Hollowed Fountain. Um, reflecting Pool could work. Okay. There's also Brainstorm. Oh, I do like Brainstorm, too. Hmm. Is it better for us than a reflecting pool? Probably? Maybe? Typically, yeah. All right, we'll take it. How about Thassa? Could be good. It probably won't end up online, but still even the every turn scry is pretty neat. And like, yeah. and and when you do print like treachery, it just randomly will pop online sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Especially if you treachery like a blue creature. <laughs> yeah, treachery a blue creature go from one to four to five just instantly. Right. Pretty neat. Cue the "Why do you pick brainstorm without any fetches?" comments. I have had that discussion with a lot of people and it's a very interesting discussion to have when you actually think through it. When you don't, when they don't think through it and they just go, Oh, come on. It's just crap. Then you're like, no, think about it more like scry three, draw one. (laughs) Yeah. That's actually what it is. And with fetches, it's just sometimes insane value. But without fetches, it's still good. <laughs> yeah. So it just goes it goes from being a card that's like a B to being a card that's like an A with fetches. Mm-hmm. That's where I'd, I'd rank it. I'd rank it naturally a B for Brainstorm. Um, <laughs> and then it goes up to an A if you have fetches. Well, people didn't even play it in Standard. When was it last in Standard? Uh, Ice Age? There was standard during Ice Age? Well, type 2. <laughs> oh. No, it was printed... <laughs> I have not I have not been playing that long. <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, correction. I played during Mirage, but I never played, like, true constructed during Mirage. Oh, it was uh, Mercadian Mass. Did people play during Mercadian Mass? No, they didn't, because... <laughs> <laughs> that I actually knew. <laughs> Get in your corner, Obliterator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right oh, next guys, to... Guys, I just want to play. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Stay there, and John, you're in the other corner. You two don't talk to each other. I swear, if you do. <laughs> We're separating you, because you've been bad. <laughs> uh, uh sh- Sure. I'm going to take this because it actually enables, like, reanimator and shit, which I hate. Yeah. So. There's that geist. All right. Seems like a reasonable wheel. Gives us some more tempo-y plays. Fuck the red deck. <laughs> if the you red... didn't like Hypnotic Spectre there? What? No, I, I, I'm not a super fan of Hippie. Um, we only have a few black cards right now. We have three black cards. Or four black cards. When this geist could be okay. It could be. I'm going to put it in the sideboard until we know better whether or not it's going to work, but it might be a card that comes back in. Yeah. <clears throat> it's got pseudo-synergy with Geist and token makers. Mm-hmm. Can't even attack with Jace. I don't think it actually synergizes with Geist. Because it's it enters tapped and attacking, so it wasn't actually attacking for the purposes of Windbrisk Geist's. Oh, it's attacking, but it did not attack? Right. 
That's dumb. <laughs> it's it. I think that's how it works. I think. Well, here's a Marsh Flats. Yeah, I was just going to say, I think Marsh Flats is just a straight pick here. Cyclonic Rift is close, but... Yeah, I'd like Cyclonic Rift. If it wheels, I'd be amazed. I don't think it will wheel. Uh, so Marsh Flats. Well... This one's a little more difficult than I would expect, because there's one, two, three, four, five... Six, seven reasonable, eight reasonable picks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's start by working down to like a top three. Top three, I think, would be Dragon Lord Salumgar, Hero's Downfall, Oblivion Ring, Land being the fourth of those, but Land might wheel. Do you think those you are don't the right, like right top? At all? Wait, what? You don't like Ugin at all? I, I like Ugin, but I don't know if our deck. Needs Ugin? Does it? I don't know. Slumgar is very strong. I think... I mean, Ugin kind of fills the same role as Karn as a late-game yeah. finisher. I don't know if we need another late-game finisher, because we already have Ojutai, Grave Titan, Karn. Mm. Whereas this... Probably... Is... Hmm? Probably don't need Ugin, so... I think Sol Dragon Lord Slumgar gets the pickup. Yeah. Some guys are very strong. Oh. Can steal their shit. Shit. I want, like, these <laughs> three cards. All four of cards. I want all four of these cards. <laughs> um, I think it's going to be a pick between these three, though. Yeah. So which is the best? Thoughtseize is really good. Is it better than, like... I think it might be better than Rev in our deck. Possibly. Yeah. But is it better than Batter Skull is the issue? Yeah. Do you think so? Yeah, Thoughtseize is so dumb. Yeah, it is absurd. And it's the dumbest. Thoughtseize, flip Jace, Thoughtseize you? Yeah. Jace oh. kind of puts it to the top. Factor oh, Fiction, Factor Fiction. Win. Factor Fiction, I win. Wee. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this is just straight up classic Esper with all of the pieces. Yeah, we got a lot of good pieces here. I am not going to lie. I think this deck has a good... Is I think this is actually turning out to be quite the good deck. Yeah. I would like maybe one more fetch on color, but beyond that... Or we could take, you know, like the unilateral wrath that's just great for this deck. I agree. Yeah. Seems, seems solid. Seems solid. <laughs> So typically the weakness of Esper is like the super fast red deck. Right. Or just the dumb green ramp deck where they play something you can't interact with. You're, Especially since you know, we're no counter spell Esper. Yeah. You get the like the wrong interaction and then they beat you down with the stupid whatever. Right. Yeah, we're no counter spell Esper, which makes us like more tap out control, which is interesting. Yeah. Um, now we could take a Spell Pierce, or we could take Glacial Fortress. Spell so we're looking at 20 cards right now? Yeah, 20 cards right now. So, it's definitely between, I think it could be either. Spell Pierce is actually pretty darn good. Yeah, I think it's, it's quite good. Let's take it. I, I've actually been caught off guard so many times by my opponent just randomly playing a spell pierce, and I'm just like, well, shit. <laughs> yeah, well, cheap is good, you know? I mean, I guess they don't need mental misstep in this cube because of... What is this card? I've seen it before, but I don't remember what it does. Hmm. So, play big guys, get... Get more mana. Uh, mana. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Looks like something that needs to die. <laughs> <laughs> well, for us, then. How, we're in... Can we flip this Delver? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Not really. Could Revoker or Elishnorn are pretty good. Yeah, which one's better for us, though? Probably Revoker. Sure. I'm going to take it. It's cheap and oh hello shuts off random planeswalkers could just take sun or we could take 
like thirst for knowledge, but we don't have a artifact. Well, we have one artifact to discard. Um, Volvar Stronghold is an interesting pick too. It's interesting. Right now we're at twenty-two cards in the deck. So what does Sun Titan do? Sun Titan. I guess it just gets back a few things after like we wrath. Pro yeah, it doesn't probably really think Volvath Stronghold then maybe. I think so. Stronghold randomly is blowouts. I'll put this in the board as like a just in case we need it. Yeah, bad shriek ma. Okay, these are still picks. I like all three of these actually. Um mm -hmm. I think I want the land with the blue in it maybe, but that does again leave us with twenty two needing one more card. Well we could easily put in Winnower. Right, we could. All right, let's just take this because I do like having more blue sources. Oh, well, fuck well, me. I guess I'll take a batter <laughs> skull or a Sphinx's the... rab. What the hell? I think batter skull. I think probably... it's batter skull, but it's just like what the hell, people? Yeah. Who's drafting at this table that let a batter skull wheel? I don't know. Because that was pick four, so it was pick ten. No, it must have been pick. 11. Pick 11. So it was pick 3, pick 11. That makes zero sense to me. <laughs> I'm just going to say fuck that thing. Crystal Brand. This might yeah. actually go in our deck. Oh, shit. Okay. Alright. There's just no one in Esper at all. No one in blue-white at all at this table. That's what it looks like. Alright, this deck looks great. I would give it a B plus. I feel B like plus. it... I feel like it could have a few other things, like if we had also gotten the Cryptic Command or stuff like that. We don't have any counter magic at all. It is Spell Pierce. We have extremely limited counter magic. <laughs> yeah, but you make up for it because we, instead of playing the counter magic, we have the removal and also the right, discard, discard stuff. Which, when uh, you're playing counter fine. magic. You've convinced me. I'll give it an A minus. Yeah, I think. I'll give it an A minus. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's minus. There's still a few things that it could use, but it is very good. Um, I need to actually figure out my mana because I haven't done this in forever. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So higher on white, higher on blue. We have twelve, twelve, seven. What? Yeah, twelve, 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 seven. Twelve, twelve, seven. All of our lands produce white, so we need less planes than anything. Um. Yeah, so I'm gonna say this would be at the bare minimum like that, but maybe even like that. I think that's probably m more accurate because we have one, two, three, four, five, six white sources we have one two three black sources yeah this seems right yeah all right well then i guess we will uh see you all in round one uh stuff see you then